Welcome back to Oxenfree. We just left Harden Tower that you can see behind us, and it is time to head to Fort Milner and see if we can help out Clarissa. So, let's see, can I point with my mouse here? Yes. So yeah, we just left from here. These triangles, I think, denote the entrances and exits. So I think if we head to the right, we should get to here and hopefully be able to head up to Fort Milner. What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Sounds like a storm is brewing, too. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or... Whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something, and we've been... Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to, either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a... a snub-nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. It's just my going premise right now, so... Wait, what? Huh? I think that was a... Like a... Sounded like a mistaken snippet of dialogue for what they were saying before. That was odd. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Oh, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something? Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. Ooh, I bet there's a signal here. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Yeah, it looks like when the, um, when this frequency band that you see, when it's colored red, I think that indicates that there's something special you can do with it. Otherwise, it's, it's not red. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I think it's an old cartoon. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Oh, okay. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Want to play a game? Door opens, suddenly starts raining. Bulb explodes. I feel like we've been... 
I feel like every time we've activated the radio and everything's kind of gone blank and then we've come back somewhere, I feel like we're moving through time or, or into a different reality or something. I mean, it just instantly started raining. Oh, facilities is to the right. So it opened the door to the facilities. Like, that's where it wants us to go. Oh, maybe if I keep heading to the left, maybe it's going to head to Relay Point across the bridge? I don't know, let's check it out real fast. Yeah, it's the start of the bridge. Let's see if this door opens, though. Oh. Looks like it's blocked. Do not enter without permission of the installation commander. Whatever you say, sign. Yeah, I guess we can't go that way yet. No luck. All right, let's go in the open door. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense... I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. Ah, uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... It's just strange to see it like this. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No, we need like bolt cutters or something. Or the code. Yeah, so I think we need to find that because that goes to the US Army RCS, which is where Clarissa is. Oh, wait. No, we. Oh, before they were in the US Army RCS, but now they. I guess they told us over the thing that they're in the gym or something? Which I guess is in the facilities? Somewhere here? Yeah, I think we're going between different realities. <laughs> it's kind of perfect that there's a, a mirror here. And also, isn't it strange, given how dumpy everything is, that this mirror is perfectly, perfectly clean. Congress declare the 
since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked <laughs> So that was a speech from, was it, uh, was it Truman? That was the president at the time. Jonas, are you okay in there? Oh, I, I just looked it up to double check it. Uh, yeah, it was actually, uh, Franklin... Roosevelt, that was the president at that time, so that must have been them speaking. Harry S. Truman came on uh, just a little bit after, or I guess technically during, because Truman was actually Roosevelt's uh, vice president and took over when Roosevelt died. Testing, testing, um, okay, I can't... I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. Oh, yeah, there's something with that mirror. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Oh, is that the other side responding? Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Who who are you? That was a different I, I me. I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Is it? Okay, what just happened? Cause that that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and- Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of- Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I- Did, did you see that? In- In the mirror? The reflection. Was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. I'm curious what's gonna be in that picture. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Looks like there's a fucking demon in the background. Great. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. What you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe uh Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything. I guess there might be another comm room or something. Yeah, lines up, I guess. But she's still been transmitting, so she must still be in here somewhere. It didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Ah, oh, 
Gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. Cool. Cool. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. <laughs> I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she... Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like... Relax, honey. Is that Clarissa out there? Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out or... Wait, I can... Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so... We still gotta get to her. Wait, can we actually go here? No, we can't. That's such a massive mural. You volunteered for submarine service. The giant cat? Tony the tiger? Are those handprints? Oh god, there's a red light too. We're gonna tune into some sort of a frequency. So just to summarize the general situation, we just took a picture, saw a demon in the mirror, um, who also spoke to us and kind of looked like us, um, and we're in a room and we're going to tune to some sort of spirit thing with this red light, and there's a bunch of piled up chairs in the corner and a bunch of, uh, probably children's handprints on the chalkboard. Okay. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. Hmm? What was that? You, you heard that, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would I know? I don't know. All right, fine. We'll both be in the dark together. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Crap. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. They're talking about... it's talking about the... Oh, is this a game of Hangman? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. Mm -hmm. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a force. Uh, well, it says RCS. RCS. Six. U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? No. Not at all. I mean, why should I care about any of this? Why should you care? They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. 
Nobody calls anything any you call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, why on earth would I? What does this have to- We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. The Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. I have no Five. idea. Mark to near the coast, 85 Three. dead. Oh, 85 dead. It's set up there. Correct. Whew. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Slow and easy. You've just had an experience. Yes, yes, very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just. That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Still up there, the triangle. So it sounded like they wanted, when I asked them what they wanted, they said, Time? Just time? They want time. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. Huh? Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa- Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still, good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. I don't um, know. Are you alright? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... Alright, where's this famous radio? 
I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a way... These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh... Um, some things... I, I don't... I don't know. Clarissa! Is there anything, like, can we cut her down with something? Oh, okay. What is it, Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it, it only broadcasts within, the, within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already... just... it's okay. Knock yourself out. Oh, I can mess with the tape? Oh! I have to actually, like, spin the stick to make the tape go faster or slower? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Let's go backwards. Clarissa. Uh, she's standing in the window. get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or... or how to tell them. I'm... Telling them? I just want to... We have to round them up before anything else... before anything like this. Like... I don't even... I don't even know what happened here, Jonas. If it's... if they're thinking of doing the same thing? We'll... we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. I thought that was going to rewind itself just like the others, but it hasn't yet. But I definitely am not going to assume that she's just dead for good, given how we've, it's going to be going in a loop and backwards and forwards and into different realities. It's definitely not necessarily the end for Clarissa. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both oh, so- like, oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just, maybe she just twisted her, twisted something or- Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This isn't possible. Cause unless she's built of rubber- We did just go through a, uh, sort of a temporal anomaly, a, a time thing. Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless, good news? Yes, Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. Well, she's not dead, Jonas. We can, I think, make at least a stand on that. All I'm saying is we don't know a whole lot of anything right now. Well, guess it's Ren time. Let's hope it's less eventful. Save Ren. Please no. <laughs> God. Uh, Alright, well, 
I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, it looks like we're going to head probably across the bridge or maybe down to Epiphany Field and the long way to, to Relay Point and see if we can save Ren. <laughs>